following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages? Welcome in to yet another edition of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. I am your host, Eric Clark, coming to you from the east side of Nashville, saying thank you very much for taking time out of your busy day to give this video a watch and a listen. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. Make sure you're following me on all of the social media platforms. Links are below. That way, if you have a tune you want me to check out, a band, a song, something like that, you can leave it in the comment section below. But if you are going to leave a comment and suggesting a band, just do me a favor and read through the comments real quick just to make sure you're not doubling up on something. So if you see that somebody has suggested your tune, just leave a like and an I concur. And that way it'll help my old DJ brain to compile what's most suggested, um, the most requested, whatever you want to call it. Before we get to today's video, I do want to say thank you to Aspen Dental and Connect 200. I was starving to death before Aspen Dental got a hold of me. And then uh, next thing you know, I'm looking like this. I'm feeling good, eating better, feeling better. So thank you to Aspen Dental. Thank you to Connect 200, Rick and the gang. When I told Rick what I was planning on doing with these video podcasts, and I was really worried about making sure I had everything ready to go, he said, don't worry about it. I'll get you set up. My computer is basically plug and play. They've got me all hooked up, so thank you to Connect 200. Today's video is coming from the Handy Dandy Notebook, but I will warn you ahead of time, we've got some really bad storms happening here in Nashville, so I do have our little friend joining us today for the video. So we'll see how Marmalade enjoys the video. So today we're going to a band out of Helsinki. Once again, another Finnish metal band. This was suggested... <laughs> In the comment section, somebody said, hey, dude, you got to do me a favor and check this out. I'm not even going to try to pronounce everybody's last names because I'm getting in a lot of trouble, so I'll try to get everybody's first names at least. The band is called Poets of the Fall, and it is Marco, Marcus, Ali, Yanni, Yari, and Yaska. I really hope I'm saying their names right correctly. I believe this was 2007, 2008, somewhere around there. This is a track called Carnival of Rust, and this is the live version. Let's check it out. Before they get really heavy slamming into anything, uh, which I think this is what's going to happen with this tune, let me say this about the lead singer. I believe Marco is his name. Um, for someone from Helsinki and being Finnish, the clarity of his lyrics in this song is incredible. His, his ability to enunciate. And a lot of times when you hear people that aren't that didn't grow up speaking English they miss a lot of the little things that normal American speech does. And he's hitting that, those little tiny things, the ands, the uhs, the thes, things like that. 
he's not sounding like someone who doesn't speak English normally. And that's an incredible testament to him. Great tone. I talk about tone a lot because it's very important. The, the better, the richer, the thicker of the tone you can create in your song, the better texture the song has, so the more colors that the song creates. This is a really good tune. This is a really modern sound to it. it it's... Again, I'm, I'm really digging what's coming out of these countries because it is metal, it is rock, it is gothic, it is industrial, it is alternative. It's a lot of things, but there's a unique sound to this, but there isn't. Remember what I talk about familiarity. There's a familiar sound, but a distinct tone. And I really, really like that. It's a really good song. Very well done. It's especially live, that they're pulling this off live. Very good. I know a lot of metal fans don't like to hear this word, but I'm going to say it again. As I've said, I said it in the uh, Within Temptation video. This has a very good mainstream sound to it. it it's a good mainstream. It's a good mainstream in that. Sorry about the whistle. It's a good mainstream in that this is a track that let me put on my program director's hat here. So say goodbye to the kitties. Mm. Bye bye. Let's put on the program director's hat here. And if I got this tune across my desk as a music director, I would go to my boss and say, add this. If I got this song as a program director, I would add it. And I would put this uh, when I got it. I know it's, you know, 10, 12 years old, but uh, if not more, but I would have added it. I would have put it right into rotation. This is a great mainstream sound. It, it's, it's specific in its genre right? Please don't hate me for this. It remi This is reminding me of a lot about like bad company. And there's a joke I make about bad company is all rock and roll fans love specific bands and don't like others. I haven't met anyone who doesn't like bad company. <laughs> like they're just that band that is pleasing to the ear. It's pleasing to the synapses that are waiting to fire when, when you hear that comfortable sound. This is a very comfortable sounding track. I like it. It's, it's got the depth of Queensryche to it. It has the thickness of Panic at the Disco in its modernity. So I, I'm really digging it. So.
stay in your stay in your lane, bro. I got it. I got it. There you go. That was a good tune. Good track. Uh, Yeah, that was Poets of the Fall with Carnival of Rust. And like I said, it's got a really good, rich, modern, mainstream sound for when it was released. Um, Let's go with the band here before I make my comment. Good band, solid band, great tone, um, real light and menthol sound in that guitar, and I really like that. A lot of times when you talk to, like I've said in previous videos, I've had the chance to interview a lot of people, and when you talk to them about structure of songs, when you talk to someone about a song that became number one or a song that is iconic, and you ask them about the construction of that song, what normally you're going to hear are these artists and musicians talk about simplicity. And they're saying, look, you don't always have to be Ingve Malmsteen. You don't always have to be all complicated to make a song sound rich and full. Sometimes all you have to do is add dulcet tones. And that's what you're hearing in this song. So while his vocals, I believe it's Marco, while his vocals are very, like I said, I'm getting a really good Queensryche, Breaking Benjamin kind of a vibe to his vocals, he does create a good texture. But what's happening around him, the ambient, that's happening around him is very dulcet it's very menthol but but it's not its presence is known so the tone of the song is always there but they're really good about dropping in the proper measure so i really like that i like the guitars the guitars are very um hidden very subtle until they need not be so the song is well constructed it's a really good tune it's a again radio friendly if i were a program director i would be adding this track and here's why. Oh, you've, some of you people are going to hate me, uh, especially fans of this band, fans of Poets of the Fall. This is not an insult. All right, I'm not saying this is an insult. I'm getting as far as image goes. To me, and I could be wrong, and I usually am, and I don't mind being. I was married to an attorney, so I was never right. Uh, I'm getting a a Def Leppard vibe. And here's what I mean by that. When you, when you pan to the audience and I see it 10 rows deep of fawning females, I see what your target audience is. Cause the first comment I made in my head was, I bet these dudes pull a lot. <laughs> I bet these dudes have massive black books as they would say back in the day. But then as you start to see the crowd and who's doing the interacting, I get it. This is a, um, it's not chick rock. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is some groups of people gravitate towards bands more than others. So back in the eighties, Def Leppard, Bon Jovi, those types of band drew, you know, people would always ask, why are you going to see Def Leppard? Cause that's where all the girls are. <laughs> that's where all the, that's where all the females are. Why are you going to see Bon Jovi? Well, that's where all the girls are. So I want to go see, I want to go really just going to see Cinderella, but all the girls are there to see Def Leppard. And that was after the uh, Guns N' Roses fiasco. And that's not a bad thing because when people would call me and say, oh, this, you know, Def Leppard's weak or I don't like Def Leppard, I would always come back and, you know, when the hardcore guy rockers would, you know, Def Leppard sucks, you know, Bon Jovi sucks. I would usually respond with the same answer, which is, how's your album selling? Because they sold a a shit ton so you can make fun of Def Leppard and Bon Jovi all you want hardcore rocker guy but they sold a ton of records 
They sold a ton of records because they made good music. They're making good modern music. It's it's not that complicated if you know how to do it, according to everyone I've talked to. Keep it simple. Write about things that appeal to everyone, which is, you know, happy, sad. So it's a good tune. Again, if I were programming a radio station, I would definitely add it because it would draw an audience. It's a great sound, great tone. Lyrics are good. Tells a great story. Kind of strained there at the, at the end, but... That's what happens when you get into a live show. Don't know how long into the show this is. But the front man is a great front man. He knows how to put on a show. Uh, he knows how to draw the eyes, so to speak. So it's a well-put-together band. I know they have a long history, so I'm looking forward to catching more of them. So thank you very much for the suggestion. That was Poets of the Fall with Carnival of Rust, and that was live. Again, if you have a tune you want me to check out, a song you want me to break down, analyze, criticize, promote, whatever it is, just leave it in the comment section below. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Uh, and again, if you are going to suggest, just look through the list. If it's already been suggested, just go ahead and throw a like and an I concur on there. And that way my DJ brain knows how to separate stuff. Thank you very much for the marmalade for joining me today. She kind of got antsy and boogied out. The rain stopped, so she's going to go fight my shoe. I think make sure you are following me on all of my social media. Thank you to Aspen Dental. And thank you to Connect 200. And thank all of you for hanging out today. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this has been The Wild Side. <laughs>